Hi, it's Jen Freeman with tipresource.com. I am tired. It is the end of the day, but before I go to bed, I'm going to make apple butter. It's apple butter in the crock pot, nice and easy. This is all you do. Last week I shared with you how to make homemade applesauce in the crock pot. That's a simple recipe. Go back and look at that video because you need the applesauce to start with. If you don't have homemade applesauce, you can always use store-bought applesauce. No matter what applesauce you use, you need seven cups. We're gonna make homemade apple butter with the applesauce. I've already got this started so you can see what it looks like. This is seven cups of applesauce. I use two cups of apple cider, a cup and a half of honey, one teaspoon of cinnamon, and a half a teaspoon each of cloves and allspice. So half a teaspoon cloves, half a teaspoon allspice. Mix that in the crock pot. I put the lid on the crock pot until it starts bubbling. And once the crock pot um, and all the contents begin to bubble, I then take that lid off and I leave it, I'm leaving this on low because I'm gonna let this cook for 12 to 14 hours. I want the lid off because I want this to reduce so that the, the apple butter will get nice and dark and rich and thick. So that's why I just put this screen on and let it cook. That's why you make apple butter at night because it can cook throughout the night. So in the morning, you can do one of two things. You can either put it in pint jars and can it, just put it in a water bath. If you don't wanna do that, you can take it and you can put it in freezer safe containers or you can put it in jars and put it in the refrigerator. It'll last a couple of months in the refrigerator. Nice and easy. Apple butter is simply taking applesauce, adding some extra spices, adding a little bit of extra moisture, letting it reduce, nice and easy. There you go. Apple butter, homemade apple butter that is, in the crock pot, nice and easy. Jen Freeman, tipresource.com. I'm headed to bed and we'll see what this looks like in the morning. Good night. Hi, it's morning. Apple butter has been cooking all night. My morning coffee is brewing. We're gonna do the big reveal, see what it looks like. Remember the apple butter cooked all night long on low and I left the lid off. So a lot of the moisture could dissipate and we'll reduce that. The spices and apples down so we get this nice rich apple butter. All right, ready? Let's see what it looks like. Ooh, yeah, see that super, super rich, dark color? That's the color you're looking for. So what I'm gonna do right now is, I am going to, at this point, if I wanna add any moisture to it, you can if you want anything else. But really we need to just put this on a keep warm type of setting. I am going to use my emulsifier and blend this up so it makes a nice, smooth apple butter. If you want to use a um, food processor, that will work, but be careful because this is super hot. But at this point, you can do several things. You can can it, which would mean simply putting these in a couple pint-sized jars, putting them in a water bath, and canning them the normal process. Super easy to do that. If you don't want to can, you can still add them to those um, pint-sized jars. And as long as they're used within about the next 30 to 45 days, you can just keep those in the refrigerator as well. All right, so I'm gonna emulsify this. Let's see what it looks like. All right, I just finished um, emulsifying this and I think it's gonna have turned out just perfect. So let's see. This reduced by about 50% in the last 12 hours. So the flavor from the apple butter comes in the reduction of the apple butter. It's reduced by almost 50%, but it intensifies those spices. So you wanna make sure you're careful in the measurement of the spices because that intense flavor is gonna be just perfect after this reduces by about 50%. Let's see. Yeah, that looks so good. That's exactly what I want. Okay, so it's nice and piping hot. Room if you want, you can add it to um, jars or you can just put it in the refrigerator the way it is you know just in some kind of a container it'll keep for a while with the jars what I'm probably gonna do is I'm gonna fill a handful of jars I got several different ones I'm gonna fill some of these and I'm going to make some homemade bread and give away a jar with a loaf of homemade bread just for, to a couple friends let them try it out I also have a recipe that's on tipresource.com for 
apple jelly, grape jelly. The frozen juice concentrates is a really easy way to make jellies. So check out tipresource.com. You can do a search for that particular recipe. But in the meantime, I'm gonna get this stuff canned up and share it with my friends and keep it for, especially Alexander, he loves apple butter. All right, thanks, tipresource.com. Come by and visit and subscribe to our YouTube page so you'll always get the updates on our videos. A memory about apple butter. When I was growing up, my brother Terry wouldn't eat anything else on his peanut butter sandwiches. Peanut butter, apple butter. I didn't like it as a kid. Love it as an adult after finding this recipe.